Hey Dave, how are you doing buddy? All right? Yeah, I'm okay too. What? Your guitar? Yeah, it's been good. I'm quite advanced on it. Yeah. I just need to polish out some things and yeah, we'll be ready. How long? Two weeks? Tops. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, buddy. As soon as I finish it, I will let you know. All right, buddy. Take care. Yeah, yeah. See ya. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my shop as well. And, well, if you recall, last year I introduced a new series, 
the tree of Odin's, in which I was going to build three headless guitars, three Odin's, and passed a long time since that announcement, and I've done some progress on it. If you follow me on social media, you can see that two of the Odin's are ready, the 16 Andromeda one, which you can see a link up there. And uh, yeah, this one is done. If you're interested, that guitar is available for purchase. You found you will find a link in the description uh, section down below. And the other six string, the um, Divine Edition was done, which is this one. And just yesterday, I received an email from the customer, which he received. I had to ship it to Canada. And the other Odin, the eight string for our artist, um, David De Pasquale, um, it's still in pieces, actually. And well, this is the, the neck, which I'm working on. Hmm. This is the neck for the eight string Odin, which finally I started to do some work on it. Lately, oh, it's been a bit crazy, yeah. With my full-time job, oh, they changed our shift pattern. Now, now I'm working every day from Monday to Friday, instead of with the shift as before. It's a bit tough to put in some hours on these projects. But it's useless to complain. I still need to move forward. So yeah. You saw me earlier preparing this fretboard for some oil. I like, even though this neck is going to be finished with lacquer, I still prefer to seal the fretboard with some true oil before installing the frets. So yesterday I put three coats on true oil. Now I'm going to scuff it with some steel wool, four, four of steel wool, and apply three more coats. And then tomorrow, after it dries, um, probably going to put three more coats and then I start fretting the, the neck. I like to fret the neck before I start um, sanding and prepare for, for, for finish. So with the frets installed, I would have like a, a barrier on the fretboard to prevent um, from scratching the fretboard in case I'm going to not in case, when I'm clamping down the neck while I'm um, sending, preparing for finish. Yeah, that's my theory. Again, not everyone has the same workflow on this particular trade. Everyone has his own uh, methods. If you have any questions or comments, again, please leave them down in the comment section down below. If they make sense, I'll do my best to answer them for you. I'm not looking for a glossy fretboard at this point. I just want um, a thin layer of foil to have like a, a protection for the wood. This is a nice piece of Madagascar ebony, which wasn't easy to find for this particular size. Again, this is this is going to be an eight string guitar. And at this point, just, just make sure that there's no shiny spots. This sheen that you see, just the 
polish of the oil, but there's no glossy spots anymore. And then I like to kind of buff everything with a nice clean cloth. Before I start to reapply the true oil. oil here's a little tip for you I like to preserve the clot the piece of clot which I used to apply my true oil in a sealed bag. And like so, I can use this cloth for the whole day. Now, I prefer to use just for a day instead of keep using it for multiple days. For one day, this will be enough. Now, it is currently in the morning on a Saturday I will let it dry for three hours and put another coat and after that I let it dry for three hours and put another coat so according to my meds at 1 p.m. I put another coat then at 4 and then at 7 so today I can manage to put in um, four coats instead of three, which is much better. So tomorrow I can start preparing um, to install the frets. Yay! Okay guys, so for today that's it. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it, and learned something from it. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll do my best, if they make sense, to answer them for you. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends. It will help um, this channel um, a lot, especially for the YouTube algorithm. If you're interested for more of my micro custom guitars, in the description box, you will find links to my socials. And if you're looking to uh, help and support my channel, you'll find um, some other means and ways to do so. So guys, until the next time, take care and goodbye.